guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Keysphere, and in this episode, like I told you, I'm giving you guys my advice, tips, and tricks, do's and don'ts for when you go on open casting calls for any major modeling agency like Ford, Select, and Wilhelmia. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to Wilhelmia because like I've seen America's Next Top Model, there's just simply not enough time in the modeling world at all. So if you're looking for advice as a short model or maybe someone that's just wanting to model in general, stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first piece of advice that we're gonna get down to is what should I wear? When you go to an open casting call, you wanna wear form-fitting clothes. That's what they always tell you. Something that fits your body, not something too small, that's too tight just so that you can say I wear a size whatever because once you put it on your body they can tell that like girl it does not fit your body you also don't want to wear clothes that are super loose because you know you want to wear clothes that make your body look good like me I want to show my collarbones like my arms are not too bad I got some nice shoulders going like you want to show them like all of this body you know what I'm saying so you want to get clothes that are flattering to you in the best possible way since you're wearing the simplest outfit on planet earth so an outfit like this might look like something like this i had a black tank top black fitted jeans and heels right so also another thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your shoulder straps are blending in with your bra you don't want to wear a bra that's pink blue purple because they don't care what color your bra is you want to make it seem like everything is seamless and it's all one outfit so that's the type of outfit that they're looking for another thing that i highly recommend that you keep in mind is that you have your hair back maybe in a ponytail like this like up, up in a ponytail because they want to also see the structure of your face now i know a lot of you are probably wondering what happens when you go into an open call at a modeling agency like what happens like what is the process are you filling out forms are they taking your picture are they going to interview like you like it's a business job so i went to two modeling agencies and one modeling agency i just so happened to get on the elevator with two women that worked there and my mom was chatting them up which i'm so thankful that she came with me because she is such a friendly and open person whereas me when i'm nervous i kind of just like <gasps> like i let my nerves like i just don't talk when I got into the office, the girl at the desk was actually really, really nice and like slightly intimidating, but you know, that's that's the kind of person that I am. I get intimidated a little bit sometimes. But when I walked into the office, it was a very fun, friendly environment. There was a guy that actually jumped out and scared two of the ladies because he knew that they were coming back from their lunch break. So I thought to myself, this could be a cool modeling agency to work at if the people are free and just having a good time, right? So I went in, she had me fill out an application where they just ask you for your name, your email address, your phone number, your Instagram, and they just want to know all the specs about your body, basically. And the girl told me that they usually say that um, if they're interested, they will contact you in a week. If you don't hear anything, I guess that means they're not interested, right? So I left my application I, and I knew to print out a picture one of my favorite pictures of myself that i have taken non-professionally i put all my photos on instagram because that is my platform to show what i can do so i left her that and on the back i had already written all the same specs that they asked for in the application but you know it was good for me to leave a picture of myself so that they'd have a picture to go with the specs so that maybe they would want to go look at my instagram and check me out so in the other modeling agency, it was so intimidating. I felt like I was on an episode of America's Next Top Model. I didn't know what floor the modeling agency was on. I was riding the elevator up and down. I ended up in front of the headquarters for the NFL and I was like, dang, maybe I should go in there and get a job. I already look like I'm applying for a job anyway. I finally find the floor. I didn't have my shoes on. I had a backpack because I'm backpacking through Chicago with my mom. We were walking around an hour before the casting call which was at one so I'm in the elevator putting my shoes on hoping that I'm not ashy and then like I as soon as I'm trying to do all this before the elevator doors open so as soon as the elevator doors open I'm on the floor I'm where I need to be I go in I go to the desk they have a girl working there just like at the other modeling agency and I saw her there 
tell her that I'm there for an open casting call for this modeling agency. And she says, Go, you can sit on the left side with everyone else. I go around the curtain and there is hella people there. So I'm like sweating because it's cold as I don't know what in Chicago, but I have this jacket on trying to keep myself warm. I'm sweating because I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm trying to collect myself. So I sit down, I try to breathe. The last one, there was no one there. But this one, there was hella people. So I'm just thinking what's gonna happen. So the people come out 15 minutes after they said that it's supposed to start because they have an open window time just in case anyone comes late which this is not like America's Next Top Model because in that show, if you're late, you're late. So I was trying to be on time, but you know, I was seven minutes late, so I'm not gonna complain. But they just basically told us a little bit about the background of the industry and why they might be so cutthroat. How they do it is they have everyone stand up and introduce themselves. So it's kind of like your first day of school where you stand up and say, hi, my name is so-and-so. Mm -hmm. And what about yourself? I don't know anything about myself. So that's basically how this went. So everyone stands up and they told a little bit out about themselves. And my advice for you is in these types of situations where you have to stand up amongst other people, make yourself stand out. Everyone, when they stood up, we're all sitting on a bench. Everyone stood in line with everyone else and just said something about themselves. Me, I know that I was the shortest person in the pack. My mom always said, that good things come in short packages and I'm that short package that I plan to deliver in the modeling world. I'm getting sidetracked. But when it was my turn, how I stood out from everyone else that was just kind of standing in line and just talking to the people, I stood out in the middle of the floor and I talked to the people that were asking, like they wanted to know more about us and I'm talking to the people that are also auditioning for being a model because I'm gonna show that I'm not scared. I'm gonna step out into the middle of the floor. I'm Keys and this is what you're getting. So after both of these experiences of even having the opportunity to go to an open casting call, what I'm taking from this as someone that is 5'5", five five, a short model, if you're looking for an outlet somewhere to get into the eight, to the industry, I say keep trying don't let some don't let anyone stop you because everywhere they're looking for something different and you never know that someone they might not care how tall you are and anyone else that's just looking to become a model in the industry doesn't and you're already tall you already know you got it in this bag I say go for it and while you're on these open casting calls don't be like me wondering if you're ashy or not make sure that you have deodorant um, sneakers in your bag, socks if it's cold, mittens, hat, lotion, uh, battery pack to keep your phone charged, um, maybe extra clothes if you want to change out of like a tank top and skinny jeans and you want to wear something more comfy if you have to go somewhere and you're backpacking around. I did that and made my life so much easier. Um, and make sure you have the photo card so that you can show, you can give them an image, a lasting image when you go. So this is the end of Key Sphere. If you guys liked this video and you thought it was helpful, interesting, and you have more questions or anything, leave comments and leave a big like below. I had so much fun in Chicago with my mom and I am so grateful for the opportunity even so that I got to go to two major modeling agencies. And if you're interested in seeing what kind of pictures I post as aspiring model, don't forget to check out my Instagram below. And until then, this is, has been, this is, this is, this has been Keysphere. And until then, peace. Bye-bye.